السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will discuss this hexadecimal display it is four dots seven segment matrix there are four dots in each segment so it is hexadecimal display it is from Texas up to electronics incorporation its part number is 4 and 54 it is TTL based 7 segment display it have memory latch matrix decoder and constant current LED matrix driver then it have display pin number 8 that is the LSB X1 input from the binary code so the data applied here it's 8421 this is pin number 8 LSB pin number 1 pin number 2 and pin number 3 these are the data inputs then it have enable pin enable pin that is used to load the data in the memory when it is low it will allow the data to activate the latch if it is high the memory will locked and it will display the last indication then it have blanking pin when this pin is high logic level high at that time it will turn off the display when the enable pin is high if we write any data in the input pins it will not allow to write because it will disable the memory latch anything we load in the data when this pin will low that will display down the data if we write this data 0 1 0 0 and we just only enable this pin that is pin number 5 what will happen it will load the data in the display when high after that we change any data it will not allow to write until the enable pin is enabled enable that means enable pin if low when enable pin that is pin number 5 it is low it will allow to write the data then we have blanking pin that is pin number 4 if it is low it will allow to display the data let's try it here are the BCD data by decoded decimal when all pins are low this is the low condition left side when the switch is at left side it is low condition it is all the pins are low it will display zero when we turn on the LSB on the pin number one the first bit high that is pin number eight so first bit is this one so it will turn on the data in the display now anytime if the blanking pin is on the display will off now if the enable pin is high now if we write any data if we load any data in the input it will not display until the enable pin is low now I will enable this pin and it will display 0, 0, 1, 0 that is the code for equal to decimal number 2 it is displaying 2 0, 0, 1, 1 that is 3 0, 1, 0, 0, 4 0, 1, 0, 1, 5 this time I am not uh, engaging this enable pin when we communicate with the processor at every routine the processor will enable to change the display otherwise it will keep disabled now it is if I will disable this one okay now the pin is disabled now if I will write 0 1 1 0 that is 6 it will wait until the enable pin is low now 6 again enable high again the enable pin is high now 0 1 1 1 7 just only write enable low 7 again enable pin is high now we will write 8 1 0 0 0 
that is also in the truth table when we work with any type of IC any any component we must follow the data sheet now we are writing 8 so stage number 8 high x8 that is the MSB in this IC high low 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 it will display 8 and the enable pin must be low it will allow to load data if it is high it will latch data blanking pin must be low so display is on if blanking is high the display will off so now we will write 8 to write 8 just we have to put 1000 and enable pin is low when it is low it is writing 8 9 in 7 segments it reads 0 to 9 but hexadecimal display it will now hex code 1010 that is equal to 10 so it is single unit so it cannot display two items so it will write a in hexadecimal a is equal to 10 11 that is 1011 now 12 13 e 14 this is the last bit that is 15 including 00 it is the 16 bit hexadecimal this is 8 9 10 this is bit number 10 this is 11 12 13 14 and 15 then 0 when all bits are 0 so it is 0 in this way you can test its function to operate this IC most of the time it needs some TTL buffer like uh, 74365 a 367 366 368 so we can use that IC to give a buffer buffered signal so it is a TTL level display VCC pin is seven, pin number 7 and ground pin that is pin number 6 5 volt are applied here I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh